was introduced in 2004 to equip trainee teachers in developing inclusive approaches to addressing the literacy, language, numeracy and ICT needs of their learners. It was revised in 2007 and 2016. And again, for trainee teachers, registering on a teaching qualification from 1st of September 2022. The Education and Training Foundation have produced a guidance document which contains all the relevant information and you can download this via my website. The new version of the Minimum Core also includes sustainability and equality, diversity and inclusion. The Minimum Core aims to focus on the core skills trainee teachers need to support learners with necessary skills on their foundation, technical or academic course. And its main purpose is to promote awareness and reflection. Trainee teachers can use the content of the guidance to reflect on their practice, to gain evidence towards various criteria and to start meaningful searches for resources or activities to address any identified gaps. The guidance is in two parts, part one and part two. Part one details the elements and objectives regarding the minimum core. The elements are English, maths, digital skills, sustainability, equality, diversity and inclusion. And each element is linked to an objective which defines what a teacher should do and how they might evidence their knowledge, understanding and skills. The elements and objectives are referenced from A to G and are in categories planning your teaching, approaches to teaching, supporting learners to develop employability skills, subject and industry specific teaching, assessment and feedback, accessibility and inclusion, and self-development. There are 12 English elements in the category of approaches to teaching. Each element has an objective which a trainee teacher must meet. working towards a teaching qualification at level 4 or above, you will need to demonstrate your skills and knowledge of the minimum core objectives in all elements and categories. The objectives, therefore, can be used as a guide as to how to demonstrate skills and knowledge for each element. Part 2 of the guidance gives examples of approaches and web links which can be used to support each of the categories. Demonstrating proficiency of the minimum core skills will help to ensure that you carry out your role professionally and support your learners adequately with their own skills in these areas. You can document how you achieve this by using a checklist which can be downloaded from my website. You may need to be prepared to meet the needs of your learners for as levels of literacy, language, Numeracy and ICT skills might otherwise jeopardise or hinder their learning. Therefore, you might need further training yourself.